Hi guys, I hope everyone's doing well. So today's video is going to be a December favorites video. I know that I just filmed my end of the year wrap up favorites video, but I still wanted to include December favorites because while that video did include everything that I loved from the entirety of 2017, these products are specifically December products. Okay? Do you feel? So we're just going to jump in because I actually have like quite a lot to talk about. So for primer, I only have one. Um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I don't know if you guys have heard about this or heard much about this, but this did launch uh, not too long ago, honestly. But I picked it up at the Sephora Inside JCPenney while I was home over break, and I can't get enough of this stuff. I have very dry skin, you guys know that. So a product like this that's going to make my skin feel moisturized, not just like faux moisturize like it's going to be sort of soft and then later in the day it's going to be dry again this makes me feel like actually like i don't have dry skin it's pretty incredible it has hyaluronic acid in it and niacinamides gotta be honest with you i'm not entirely sure what a niacinamide is but hyaluronic acid is an incredible incredible product for your face if you do have dry skin so the fact that it is a primer and a moisturizer in one just yes, and it's really, really good. So if you guys are in need of either of those things, I would highly recommend this. For foundations, I have three because I'm me and I'm extra and I love foundation. Um, so the first one is from the drugstore, actually. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. I have the shade Light Ivory, and this has actually been like a super wow favorite from the drugstore. This is not just a December favorite. I think I picked this up over Thanksgiving break, but I used it a lot more this past month, and I really, really do like it. Um, it is a cushion, obviously. You guys know the drill with cushion products, so it comes in a cushion. Um, I don't use the little sponge that came with it. I think I tossed it immediately. I actually prefer this foundation with a brush, which is super unlike me, but I'll usually use my Morphe M439, I think it is, the one that Jaclyn Hill recommends, <clears throat> and it goes on flawlessly, beautifully. It's great coverage, and it lasts all day, and I really, really love the finish, so yeah. My cat's up here with me, so she joins us in the frame. Her name is Nipples. So the other two are from a higher end category. They're both relatively expensive products. One of them is 58 and the other one is 49. So I'm sorry, but I love them. I can't, you know, there's not much I can say. So the first one is the YSL All Hours Foundation and I have the shade BR20, which is Cool Ivory. <clears throat> this came out I want to say back in August, but it wasn't really in any of the Sephora's near where I live, so I was unable to pick it up and try it, but I finally was able to pick it up and try it because I was back home. There's a much larger Sephora near where my mom lives, and I got it, and guys, it's really, really good. A lot of people have said that this foundation is bad if you have dry skin, but I actually really don't agree with that. I find it to be significantly less matte than I was expecting it to be based on the reviews that I watched and the reviews that I read. So it's surprisingly lightweight and surprisingly like satin matte almost on my skin type, um, but I guess that maybe has something to do with the primers I'm using. I don't know. Remains to be seen. I'm still testing it out with a bunch of different primers, but it is absolutely super long wearing. Like I will give it that and it is flawless. Like it looks absolutely fantastic. So I love this stuff, but it is a pretty, pretty penny. So if you can't afford this one, maybe something in the middle is the one I'm about to share with you, which is what I'm wearing on my face right now. I have never been so floored with a foundation upon first application in my entire life. Maybe the MAC face and body, maybe, but this is like up there. This is the brand new NARS foundation that's just launched. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and I have the shade Mont Blanc, which is light too. I am so excited that I can wear this foundation. I've had a struggle with NARS as a brand for quite some time because most of their foundations I can't wear. There's the Mont Blanc and the Finland shades, but then the shade Deauville, which is usually the one that I get shade matched for, is far too yellow for me. So I end up kind of not really being able to find a shade, and I'm not somebody who's going to buy two different foundation shades and mix them. I just can't afford to do that. Um, so I've just kind of like always strayed away from buying the NARS foundations, but I, for some reason, can get away with the Mont Blanc in this foundation, and it's not quite as light as Mont Blanc in the Sheer Girl, Sheer Girl sheer glow so it works for me and it is beautiful like I don't know if you guys can tell because this camera is basically crap quality but when it says natural radiant that's exactly what it looks like it looks like skin but it's beautiful coverage and it just like applied like a dream like I'm 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 floored I'm honestly floored so you know obviously these are like three very different price points right here but I love all of them so any of them would be a suggestion in my book 
So next up, I have a couple of blush products to talk about. The first one is also from the drugstore, also from Wet n Wild. This is the Color Icon Blush in the shade, um, I think this is Rosé Champagne. I'm sorry, cat's meowing. Um, yeah, Rosé Champagne. I picked this up because Nicole Cutler was talking about it on her channel, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Nichols! Can you stop meowing, please? Thanks. Anyway, it's a really, really nice kind of subtle blush, so if you don't want heavy blush, honey, honey, okay, if you don't want heavy blush, I would highly recommend this. It is much less champagne than the name would suggest, like it doesn't really look like champagne on my skin, but it's a very, very subtle blush, so for me, it's something that I would absolutely recommend, and I like it, and it's not really as sparkly as you think it's going to be when you look at it. Like, you look and you think sparkles, but it's not sparkly. The other blush I have is the Ciate London Blush in Sh Summer Love. I, I think it might be a blush topper. I'm not entirely sure based on the marketing, but I love this. This is such a beautiful product. It's a really, really gorgeous kind of a peachy shade. Um, I don't know. In some lighting, it looks a little bit more like apricot to me. Apricot, however you say the word. But I love it, and it looks beautiful on top of blushes. It looks beautiful on its own. I'm wearing it right now. And yeah, I just think it's really, really nice. And I love the packaging. I think Ciate does a really, really nice job with their packaging. All the little stars and all that fun stuff. So next up, I actually have a new bronzer to talk about, which is super exciting because I feel like I'm usually stuck in a rut with bronzers. Like, there's maybe one or two bronzers that I use, but after that, I... I have a lot of trouble kind of venturing out into new bronzers, but I think I had some kind of store credit at Ulta, and I realized that Ulta now carries Estee Lauder, so I went out on a limb and I got the Bronze Goddess bronzer in the shade Light, so 01, and it is this gigantic pan of beautiful bronzer, and oh my god, you guys, if you have never tried this bronzer, you really, really need to. It's what I have on my face right now. It is a beautiful beautiful glow. I have never in my life felt this glowy and this natural at the same time. Like at this moment, the, the combination of this foundation and this bronzer makes me feel like an actual goddess. Like I don't recognize my skin. So for me, that's really awesome because I've been having a fair amount of issues with my skin and for a product to just kind of like mask all of those imperfections and just look good, I just really, really love it. And I never thought I'd be saying that about a bronzer, but like there it is. So next up I have a powder, which I think this was in my yearly favorites, but like it's still a December favorite. It's like an every month favorite. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. I use this every single day. This has taken the place of all of my loose powders. I never use my Cody Airspun. I never use my Cover FX. I don't even like try to find my mini Laura Mercier anymore. This is it. This is all I will use. I can't put it down. I actually have the shade 5 as well if I'm in the mood for like a very bright under eye. Like I have very few products in two shades. Like like two products. So the fact that I have this in two shades says something. It's a beautiful, finely milled, fantastic setting powder and I love that it doesn't leave any kind of white cast underneath my eyes. I love it. I love it. I love it. There's not enough good things I can say about it. So next up we have a highlighter. This is actually a highlighting palette and before I bring it up I'm a little bit sad so if you guys have um, reactions to this please leave them in the comments. I just found out that I think that this is limited edition so I'm super frustrated by that. It's unlikely that I'm going to buy a backup because it's $62 but I'm still super frustrated by it. This is the Hour Hourglass, the Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. It is unfreaking believable. This is, oh my god, I just can't even like explain it to you guys. You can see it here. It's three shades of highlighter, and what I'll usually do is I'll swirl the three of them together, and I will go on my cheekbones. Again, you probably can't see because my lighting is non-existent, but it, it just like creates the most beautiful highlight on your face. It is way strobier than the regular ambient lighting palette. I had the ambient lighting palette and I think I returned it because I felt like it really wasn't doing anything for me. This is a completely different product. So if you're in the mood for incredible strobe highlight, I would highly recommend picking this up. It is pricey, but it's three different shades in one. So you're kind of getting definitely more bang for your buck. And as far as I'm concerned, it's worth it because our glass products are through the roof amazing. So okay next up concealer which I completely forgot to mention. This is the Reflon 
Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Concealer in the shade One Fair. I actually am super surprised that I like this, but I like this. This is definitely a December favorite for me. It's got that sponge tip applicator like the Maybelline Age Rewind, but I actually like this a little bit more. Don't tell Maybelline. I just think that this is a really, really awesome concealer. It's very brightening. It absolutely fills. It absolutely blurs, and it doesn't crease on me, so that's really all I could ask for. I've been having some trouble with concealers because my favorite concealer consistency-wise is the Urban Decay Naked Concealer, but I can't find a shade that works for me, so I actually don't own that concealer right now, and I've been pretty much consistently going back and forth between the ColourPop No Filter and the Becca Aqua Luminous, but sometimes I want something that's like a little bit in between in terms of coverage, and I think that this is exactly that concealer. So it is pricey. This is like $14 at the drugstore, which is definitely more than I would think that I would like to pay for a concealer at the drugstore, but I really do think it's awesome. So if you need it, there's always sales. CVS for sure has extra bucks all over the place, like if you shop there enough. So you could definitely get this for significantly less. Like I got this $6 off when I bought it, so it felt more reasonable. So next up we have mascara. This is another from Maybelline. This is the Total Temptation Mascara. I don't know if you guys have heard much about this. I don't think I've seen that many reviews on it. First of all, it smells like lemons and like vanilla and it's unbelievably delicious, um, but it is an incredible mascara. It's what I have on my lashes right now. I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but I personally feel like my lashes don't look real at the moment. It's very black. It's very voluminizing. It's very separating. It's just a really, really good formula. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. It's pretty much exactly what I look for in a mascara, and it's kind of been putting all my other favorites to shame this past few weeks. Like, dang, Maybelline, get it done. All right, so next up we have the eyeshadow palette I haven't been able to put down. This is the ColourPop Yes Please eyeshadow palette. Uh, for those of you who don't know it, it is this right here. So I understand that you look at this palette and you think, how is this an everyday wearable eyeshadow palette? But what you have to understand is that the bright colors are only a few of the shades in here. Like, if you take out that yellow and you take out that orange, like, it's pretty much just a normal warm palette, you know? Um, I do love the yellow. I love doing looks with it. I love doing a sunset eye. But this shade right here, this shade right here, this shade right here, this shade right here, I have been using nonstop, regular, normal, everyday eye. I just love the formula of this palette so much. The ColourPop shadows are really, really good. And this is $16, this palette. So if you have any interest in trying out ColourPop shadows, I would highly recommend getting this. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so next up I have lipsticks, and then we'll go on to some skincare stuff, and then we'll be done. Um, I have two products for you guys. These are both actually liquid lipsticks, which is crazy because... You guys know that I really don't like liquid lipsticks, but I feel like I've talked about, like, the Fenty Gloss Balm and my Buxom Gloss and my Nikki's Nude, like, enough times in enough videos that I don't need to share them again, but these are actually, like, new loves from this past month. So this first one here is the Pixie by Petra Matte Last Liquid Lip in Evening Rose. This I got because Tati was talking about them in her end of the year favorites, and I Honestly, I have to be honest, I was not a fan of the shade selection. I didn't find all of the shades to be all that intriguing, but this particular one, this kind of like darker mauve berry color sort of, it just looks really, really nice on my skin tone. I do like the formula quite a bit, and I've been wearing it a lot, so this is the first one. And the other one, I'm so excited. Ulta is carrying Dose of Color stuff now. Not everything, not the entire collection, but some things, and they had some liquid lipsticks, and I picked this one up, and I have not been able to stop wearing it. This is in the shade Brick. Um, I... <sighs> You guys, the Dose of Colors formula is amazing, comfortable, wearable, and I love the little doe foot. It has like that little seat kind of a thing so that it hugs your lip in a really, really nice way when you're putting on the liquid lipstick. It is so easy to apply. It lasts. There's no butthole lip with either of these products, and I just really, really like the color. It's like a brick red, kind of a little bit orangey undertone, very fall. And I know that it's winter time, but I don't always want to wear like a dark vampy lip, so sometimes something a little bit different is right up my alley, and I've been really liking this. Alright, so I guess I'll segue with a product that's both skincare and makeup related. This is my Claire Sonic, but for those of you who are thinking, hey, what's that brush head? This is the Sonic Face Brush brush head, I want to say is what it's called. This is a brush attachment that you can use on any Claire Sonic to apply foundation or cream contour or any cream product on your face. I don't use cream contour because your girl can contour for her life, but I have been using this to apply foundation and I do find that it works very well. I applied half my face today with this brush and the other half with my L'Oreal sponge. 
no no traceable difference between the two. So I really, really like the Labeled This Applies foundation, and it's very soft and it's very easy to use. It does take slightly longer to blend it out, but you're using significantly less product, so, I mean, weigh it. Is time more important to you, or is saving product more important to you? And if you take this brush head off and put on the regular cleansing brush head, I use the Radiance brush head. That has been my go-to way to say goodnight to all my makeup or to say good morning to my face every day. I use it day and night for one minute all over my face and it cleans all the gunk out of my pores. My face has never felt cleaner. I have not yet gone through that purging phase that a lot of people talk about with the Clarisonic, so I'm hoping that I don't because I'm not, I'm not really here for all those zits that everybody keeps talking about. But if it does happen, what I have heard is that it helps bring things to the surface more easily, more quickly to get them out of your system. So, you know, I guess if it does happen, it's not the end of the world. But I really do love this. This is the regular Mia, the first Clarisonic to come out. I don't need anything super fancy. Change my brush heads when I need to, and it does me just fine. But I especially wanted to mention this brush head because I think it is a super, super cool product. Alright, so next up, you guys are going to be pretty excited about this. I'm pretty excited about this. You know that I have been stuck on the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Cleanser for like ever. Since I got it. For like six months I haven't been able to stop using it. I'm almost out. I have to go get another one that's non-negotiable. But I was thinking, hey, maybe why don't I try a new cleanser and see what I think. I was at TJ Maxx and I came across a Glam Glow display. Yes, Glam Glow. I understand a lot of people have objections to makeup at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and I get it, I'm, I understand, but to me, something's there, it's sellable, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna give it a go, if it gives me breakouts, I will return it, but this that I got, I'm super really excited about, like super, super, super really excited about, this is the Glam Glow Power Cleanse Daily Dual Cleanser, it's really hard to read because it's like white writing over silver stars, but anyway, this is what it looks like, the, um, the dealio with this cleanser, so you have the oil on this side, and then at the back in here, which you can't see, there's a mud. And when you open it, you have, like, two different, like, dispensers almost, and you can control how much mud and how much oil you want in your cleanse. And I think that's super, super cool. But the reason I like it so much is because it is mud and oil to foam, so you can foam it up, you can lather it up, I can go in with the Clarisonic if I want to, but it's just a really nice morning cleanser for me, and I just really like the way my skin feels when I'm done using it. It's soft, it's supple. In fact, the other day I used this and I forgot to put on moisturizer. Like, that is how soft my skin was. So I'm excited. I'm just, like, super, super pumped that this was at TJ Maxx and I got it for, like, $17. Like, I don't see anything wrong with that, personally. So next up, another skincare item we have is the Pixie Skin Treats Hydrating Milky Mist with Hyaluronic Acid and Black Oat. I have been using this as a skin treat, exactly what it says. I use this before I put my makeup on, and sometimes at the end of the night if I'm feeling like drab and dull, I'll spritz a little bit of this on my face as well. But it's such a nice mist. It's The mister itself is like... Oh, it's so nice. And it smells like heaven. Like, I love the smell of this stuff. Whatever Black Oat is, it smells fantastic. But regardless, this makes my skin feel really soft, really nice, really hydrated, and you can spray this on when you already have makeup on, which makes it that much better of a product, to my mind. So, I really like this stuff. Alright, last skincare, and then we have one hair care item, and then we will be finished. Ooh, there's sirens. There's literally always sirens here. Like, I don't know about anybody else who lives in a city, but there's not a day that goes by, like an evening that goes by, that I don't hear sirens, like, at least twice. Anyway, um, so these are the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloths, so you get 20 in the little package. I love these. I love them. I love them so much. I got these on recommendation from Jay Kissa. I also got the Yes to Cotton ones that she recommended, and I really, really like those as well, but I have to remember to go back to Target to get some more. But these I love so much because they're literally like, like $2, I think. I think they're literally $2 or less. I use these to get swatches off my hands, off my arms, to wipe different lipsticks off if I'm trying things on. And I can use them on my face as well, although my Clinique ones are still my favorite for taking makeup off. But they're just like so good and so affordable and they don't irritate my skin, so I figured I'd mention them in case you guys are looking for some affordable makeup wipes. Especially if you do lots of swatching and stuff, like you don't want to go through with like a Clinique wipe and waste that money on your arm. These are a very nice alternative. Alright, so last up guys, we just have one hair product that I've been using non-stop. This is the OGX Protecting Plus Silk Blowout Quick Drying Thermal Spray. I figured I'd mention this for anybody who is looking for a thermal spray. I really like the texture of this stuff. It's not sticky, it's not goopy, it's not like weird. It just makes your hair feel so silky and so nice. Here's more sirens.
I hope everyone's okay though, saying a little prayer. Here I am sitting filming a video, hopefully those people are actually okay, but anyway. Um, the reason I like this so much is because it says here with hydrolyzed silk and quinoa, cut blow dry time and protect hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit for big, beautiful blowouts. I completely agree with those claims. That's exactly what this does. I blow dry my hair most nights. For those of you who don't know, when I take a shower, I don't really like to let my hair air dry because I feel like it gets super frizzy when I do that. But this has absolutely cut my drying time in half. It makes my hair look fantastic and I love it. I'd been using a Tresemme thermal spray for a while and I really didn't like it but it was the only one I had and like obviously I'm not going to not use a thermal spray I'm not trying to have my hair break off in the middle but this one is so much nicer I'm so glad I got it and I think that that's the end of this video guys so thank you so much for joining me if you've tried any of these products please let me know if you have any recommendations for me please let me know and I will see you next time on my channel definitely before January favorites but Please remind me to actually film a January favorites because I think I forget to do favorites videos, but Lord knows I have favorites every month. So anyway, guys, I will see you all later. Have a great rest of your night.